Hello, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of our video shorts on current topics at electrical-online.com. Today we're going to do some testing with a GFI circuit and a non-GFI circuit. And the purpose of the demonstration is just to show you how ground fault circuit protection protects us from electrical shock. I've asked my assistant here, Congressman Wiener, for lack of anything else to call him, Mr. Wiener, and he's going to be our test subject. So we'll just show you how harmful a shock can be on 120 volt. And then we're going to show you what happens when you hook it up to ground fault. So let's get started. So as I've explained before, ground fault circuit protection, what it does is on a regular circuit functioning normally, there's power on your hot conductor your ungrounded conductor and there's power on your neutral which is your grounded conductor now as in this light bulb we have here on our demonstration if that bulb is say drawing two amps if there's two amps on the black wire and two amps on the white wire the GFI circuit says everything's fine and there's no tripping now if there's any leakage whatsoever on either the white wire the neutral or the black wire to ground milliamps is all it takes is milliamps thousandths of an amp and it will trip that circuit immediately so you won't get a, a harmful shock from that so we're going to use Mr. Wiener here to demonstrate this for us where we are plugged into a ground fault circuit now just a circuit uh, a receptacle and what I'm going to do is show what happens when Mr. Wiener comes into contact with the hot conductor so say he's in the washroom and uh, for some reason one of the appliances plugged into the circuit has a fault on it the hot wire is touching the case and Mr. Wiener happens to come in contact with that hot wire boom circuit goes dead immediately we'll show you what happens when we touch the neutral wire as well Now I'll show you what happens if he comes into contact with the grounded conductor, the neutral conductor. Your current path in an, in an electrical circuit is designed to be on the hot and neutral. Even though that's a grounded conductor, it's not the grounding conductor. So any leakage to the ground, the ground path is supposed to be just for fault currents. If you've got a short circuit to ground, your ground system takes enough current to earth immediately and that causes a, a breaker to trip. But that can be thousands of amps before that circuit actually trips when you have a short circuit condition. So again with ground fault you've got your neutral conductor, circuits going, the light bulbs lit, accidentally come into contact with the neutral and it trips again. Alright so now we're plugged into the non-GFI protected circuit, a regular 15 amp household circuit comes into contact with the hot wire now and we have damage look at the burn marks smoke rolling off Mr. Wiener here this is a potentially lethal shock he's getting and as you can see the light bulb is still on the circuit is functioning normally because we're not drawing enough current through Mr. Wiener to trip a 15 amp breaker but we definitely are drawing enough current to cause serious damage to flesh so you can see the burn marks on Mr. Wiener here. We've got the entrance wound right up near his heart and the exit wound on, well I guess we'll call that his feet. You can see the black marks there where the current left his body. Shock like that in uh, the right proportions would have been enough to actually kill a guy. So we're just going to show you again now with it plugged into the ground fault circuit just how quick the power is removed once contact is made with that hot wire. All right, but now I mentioned before, ground fault protection is not over current protection. So now we have no ground involved. If Mr. Wiener happened to come into contact with this and wasn't touching ground and had good rubber shoes on, this is what will happen on a ground fault circuit. It doesn't provide over current protection, only ground fault protection. The over current protection is provided by the breaker and the amount of current, current we have flowing through Mr. Wiener now is not enough to trip a 15 amp breaker but it's enough 
to cook Mr. Wiener. So, don't cook your wiener. Never ever do this at home or even on a hot dog at home and definitely never post it on Twitter. <laughs>